Hey everybody, Fuzz here. Welcome back to Let's Play Broken Crescent 2.4.2. Oh man, what a trip has been the working title of this. Um, and as I like to say, it really has been. So, with that said, here's Oman. Here's Yemen. And uh, we have some work to do. We're making progress, but we're not there yet. And overconfidence has been my weakness this entire campaign. Um, so let's focus first on the little things. Uh, this turn is almost done, but some remains. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that everybody is at this point where they can, um, let's see, it looks like the Mongols actually own the city now. So, uh, basically I'm making sure everyone can move and has moved, or everyone that can move has moved. Um, and I'm also just trying to make sure that I stick with uh, a couple of uh, promise I'm, promises I made last video in that uh, I wouldn't just immediately hit end turn as I know I am uh, often doing. All right, so the Spy and the Hajaz. I mean, he can stay there. He might actually win which would be pretty great. Um, From this shadow, okay, great. Shadow. I was hoping I would get a better spy, and it looks like I just did. All right. Let's see, what kind of traits does he have? Adept agent, inconspicuous. Well, that's good. All right, and then this spy, I don't know why he's hanging out near Najran, because it, this is impassable. No one can walk into there. It's an awful desert. Um, so let's go to Captain Mundhair. Okay, great. So it looks like their basic plan is these three types of units. Um, so I'll just keep that going. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Um, so I think what I need to do as a longer process is bring a, uh, a little bit of each of these units over. Now, as I've seen with Aiden, um, I guess I'm keeping hold of these units down here in the hope that one day I'll be able to actually, I don't know, retrain them? Is that so crazy to think? Um, but it doesn't seem like that's very likely. Um, and I, But I do think it is time to actually build a uh, catapult, because we have had some great times with catapults already this campaign, uh, and I'd like to have some more. Okay, so doing pretty well here. I don't think I'm going to build any more uh, ships. I, I don't need them. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Mirage, who's actually worked on the original version of the mod. He was the mod leader. Um, and I remember when they were working on the map, he was trying to decide how to, to lay it out. And so they decided, you know what, let's just kind of cut off the, the little end here of Yemen so you could actually, you know, go back and forth. Uh, and I think it was one of the best decisions they made. Because uh, the Horn of Africa, you know, to increase that would just increase all the empty space that you're not able to actually play in. Um, so I think it was a good decision. And... Um, Hmm. They do have a lot of troops. I think I'm okay with letting them get whittled down a little bit. Because uh, we know that no one's going to come from Najran that can actually kill us. Okay, so I still have a lot of money. Um, what can I do that will make me more money? I think this is the best move. Um, or is it? Let's actually not do anything else. I think that that's good. Um, let's just make sure I don't have anyone walking down here. How's this guy doing? He's doing fine. Um, okay. And everybody is still blockading, so I'm making money that way. Okay, I think we can say end turn. Um, let's just hang out and watch Shiraz. I don't know if you guys are as excited as I am at the prospect of the units finally dying, but we'll see. It 
it's uh, evening here as I record this, and I'm sipping on some winter wake-up tea from Trader Joe's. And I wish this were a paid sponsorship, but I gotta tell you, it's delicious. Winter wake-up tea is amazing. It's like herbal tea with a little bit of black tea, I think. Or maybe it's green tea. I'm not doing a very good job, which is, you know, obviously why I'm not getting paid for this. Um, but it's good, and I really like it. Suitable husband. Yes, I will allow this. Um, but it is, it is just wonderful. It's, it's a lot of caffeinated tea, in my experience, don't. Um, like, if you're sick, it doesn't feel good. But I am a little sick, and it makes my throat feel pretty good. So what can I say? Um, so the town guard is the obvious choice here in Jazan because nothing else allows me to um, nothing else would allow me to both increase happiness and uh, be able to build some units so let's go back up here and take a look at this this is kind of a bummer I'm basically stuck here with these units um, I don't know what the Elder Gazids are doing down there. It's weird. I don't like it. Um, Najaf isn't very happy, are they? What's the cheapest thing I can build? 48? That makes people happy. Um, let's do this. That'll get cavalry bonus. I really wonder where the Mongols went. I'm gonna get distracted real quick and yes, go here. Wow. As you will, no -uh. wow, wow, wow. That is insane. And I'm sure this is a Mongol town, because the Khwarezm Shahs have been the Khwarezm Shah has not existed for a long time. Alright, let's circle back to this area. Start at Salala. Ooh, wow. This is... Salala's turning into a really great little place. El Shear? You know, it's trying. Um, Aiden, how you doing, buddy? Not well. Alright, Thais. Okay, we're doing that. Sana. Another one. There still isn't anybody that can actually do anything about me. Um, so let's let's hang tight. Um, that's why I love watchtowers, because otherwise I would attack and I'd lose a ton of men. Um, but this enables me to feel a little more secure. Um, I stand here unthreatened by you. In and it looks like they have some pretty decent troops, so. Uh, in terms of that Ayyubid stack here. So hopefully that, that handles it. Um, and if you're not familiar with Middle Eastern history, the Ayyubids were um, Saladin's folks. So uh, Salahuddin, Saladin, Saladin, um, he actually controlled those people. And if you heard a beep and that terrified you, my oven is done preheating because uh, I'm cooking up some carrots. It's going to be delicious. Um, so that's what's that's going on there. All right, uh, and again, I am just going to kind of book it straight for um, Cherson. Cherson, I think, is what it's called, and then Bulgaria, just to see what's going on there. Um, I do believe somewhere around here. I, I could have sworn I had an extra spy somewhere, but maybe I didn't. Just gonna leave Shiraz B for a second. Um, As you will, Sultan. What does the Sultan will? I'm really surprised that Avaz As is still will, totally no -uh. its own thing. It's it's rare to see a, a rebel settlement this late in the game, right? It's 127 turns in. It's it's pretty far along. Okay, uh, let's circle back everywhere. Al Khatif. Let's tr keep on trying to print money here. Um, let's actually do this, and then I'm not going to spend any more money. Um, so what I did was build a barracks. I just want to make sure that I can improve thing, improve happiness, and have opportunity to build more troops. Um, 
you know, right now that's pretty much a backwater, but let's try to keep it that way. And But in case it isn't, then we can do something about it. We come and Mercuria wants an alliance. Let's see, who are they at war with? Hmm. It's tempting. What if I get map information? We cannot contact there. until next time. Sipping on some of that winter tea again. Um, the reason I'm worried about allying with Mercuria is they border Jerusalem, and I don't know what Jerusalem is up to um, in terms of how they actually feel about that faction. They're not at war with them, um, but what if they do? What if they do go to war? And then I'm left kind of holding the pieces there. So let's see what is it you would talk to us about, If I can't. No, but no. maybe we should okay. Adieu, senor. Well, we know what's going on. As you will, Sultan. No. -uh. Okay. Yes, my master. As you will, Sultan. Kazvin -uh. is not under siege, but it has one unit in it, so if the Mongols knew what was good for them, they would do something about that. Um, anyway, where is my spy? Up here. Let's just cut straight across. I think that's the fastest way. Okay, so it'll take a couple turns, but that's probably for the best. Um, so I have 2300. Let's send out a little group of friends how may I serve Sultan and see how they like that um, okay they don't yes um, how may I serve Sultan let's send you home As you will. here we go Shubedak. Sultan Let's see, who else do I have? Oh, there's another one. I, I don't know why I didn't notice this earlier, but okay, so that helps consolidate. Um, and then I can send at least Our two units, right? So let's send them and... Um, yeah, these two guys. And then you can go home. Look, see, everybody's happy. Zan is a happy place, and it's definitely not under military yes. rule right now. Um, so they're down to 20, so they lose 3 per turn. It's significant enough where I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Um, okay. Let's wait, because I want to use these troops to go further and actually um, kill some dudes. And going to wait on that. Al Shear could use something. Let's see, they're going to expand pretty soon, so let's just try to get some trade going. Uh, Salala. Sky Nobles and Adath Infantry. It's boring, I know, but I really need... I need that. Um, Docklands. I need farming. This this is kind of turning into a backwater. Um, sewer is, and that's not really how it should be. Okay. Um, let's pop up the crops because that will allow me to have a higher um, let's see the population growth is going to increase and then that will allow me to bump up that tax rate without completely killing growth um, squalor is also a big issue I'm going to need to figure out how to solve that and I'm not sure how to that might require some additional research alright so I think that looks pretty good um, let's pop down here too oh. Let's pop down further. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Um, so there's basically two stacks here. So maybe I don't have that much time to play with.
I mean, on the plus side, we're spying on them pretty effectively. Um, and they're not moving anywhere. I mean, they are, but if they're just hanging around Mecca, um, I will not. I think I can do better than him. Oh, Abdul Malik. Great. Okay, so what this tells me is that it's pretty much time to recruit a new army. Um, but let's first go to Aiden. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. So Aiden, public health bonus, that's what reduces squalor. So let's just do that first. Um, because I need people to be happy. And right now, no one's happy. Orders. That's a big pain. Um, and then, How can I send answer? some of these infantry Sultan. units? If Orders. I do that, will they revolt? Yala. Not enough. Remove Good. The sun sets on today's journey. Okay. So that all looks pretty above board to me more Adath infantry because you can't get enough. And one more turn till surrender. I don't think they're gonna get that far. So he can go to... Yeah, he can only make it to my watchtowers. So let's do that. And I'm not gonna do much else because I want to know what's going on over here. And everything still looks... Fine up here, fine here, Nizwa. Nizwa also needs crops, but we have to wait. Okay, I think that's pretty good uh, at the moment. I'm not gonna go crazy doing anything else. Um, Kazveen is under attack. Yeah, looks pretty good. Some say I am a jewel of the Mediterranean. Karakatan princess. I don't know they had princesses. That's cool. Well, she's definitely not a jewel of the Mediterranean, though, because she is uh, from the steppes. I'm sure she's a jewel. Um, yes, I really want to go here. I don't care about that. Shiraz. Oh, could it be? Could the time finally come? Alright, let's hang out here. I, I mean, they're not gonna win. That's way too big of a stack. Pardon me. As I enjoy my tea. Alright, great. So he went from being in this huge problem to being basically dead. Um, so let's just, yeah. A crushing victory, my son. Um, loyalty's happy, population's decreasing. Let's just occupy it. And they do. Yeah, that that went very well. I'm I'm very happy. Sada is now ours, and the Mongols are taking their sweet time. This okay. So guess went straight to there. Oh my goodness! What is so hard about killing them? Alright, so there's a lot to a lot to do. Um, I just saw that my uh, general was up for retraining here and again. Um, I mean, it seems like we're in pretty good shape here. Kurdish swordsmen. So all of a sudden we're getting a lot of pretty cool units. Um, so I'm just going to keep on doing that um, on account of wanting to make sure that the uh, Crusaders don't get any ideas. Um, but I still have plenty of money, so don't worry. So the Mongols and the Rajputs are at war. And I do believe that the Romans are now a puppet of the Russians. Oh dear. Well, it looks like Torica is rebel, but you know, let's you know, let's see what happens. Um, okay, I lost track of this other. There he is, hanging out at my watchtower. 
Alright, I hope I don't regret not killing this guy. Um, part of the reason I didn't actually go forward and kill everybody was because... I mean, look at that. I can recruit so many... Um, but basically, I was just worried about being able to um, recruit troops right away because I knew that there's a stack coming. Alright. How may I serve, Sultan? Sultan. And I'm just kind of doing the old shove a bunch of, bunch of troops together. And it seems like I've kind of reached the end of that one. So let's retrain, or let's do something more. Well, let's let's figure out the larger stuff. Um, you need to come up somewhere central. So let's go right here. Taiz. Um, I'm also trying to send up some troops that will uh, be able to be merged with some of the troops in other towns. Um, so for example, no one here. Never mind. Um, so Taiz is pretty much donezo. That's a technical term. Um, farms and production and a Sunni Madras is the opposite of what we want. Sana. Um, they're actually doing pretty well, but they could be doing better. So let's build that. And let's do As you will. kind of work backwards. So right now they hate me. What would make them hate me less? Um, let's hold the ballista back. And then what about an 8th? Let's send two 8th back. And that's enough. Great. Then let's also build a watchtower, just to push that forward. Because you guys know how I feel about watchtowers. Um, and then a body masjid. So what worries me is they can attack in one turn. What makes me feel better is that, um, if you notice, I can easily reach them in a single turn. So let's say, worst case, Kutaiba, or Kutaiba, Kutaiba whatever his name is, um, comes up and besieges Jazaran, rather than totally lose that town, I'm going to build a, um, a port because it'll help a lot with the whole money down here. Um, so let's say he attacks Jazaran, Sada comes, and then uh, Marzouk al-Farsi can go to Sada to keep that garrison going. So I think that's probably the best, best case um, scenario for me. Kazvin is no longer a place that exists. What does the Sultan will? And, um, as, you will, as always, all the Guzids aren't dead yet. Okay, and turn. I'm pretty Im impressed with, uh, you know, Bahrain wasn't really much of a challenge. And I definitely stumbled through them as well. Um, but I was, I've been impressed by Yemen. They have a pretty good roster. Uh, lots of infantry with actual defense and uh, missile possibilities. So it's been good. OK, um, let's walk up here, I think, just to see what uh, the, the Caspian Sea coast looks like. As you will, Sultan. Artabil. Wow, the Mongols are already attacking Artabil. Shiraz has nothing. I'm just going to leave a spy there because we've been through this. Um, My eyes are yours. Leaving your let's creep forward. As you will. Just a little bit. Wow. Well, that's ripe for the taking. Belgorod. And then let's see how Bulgaria is handling. I mean, obviously Rome's still alive somehow, somewhere. Okay. Um, then Jeff, why do you hate me? Let's do that. Akutif. I 
I guess I'd need a castle here. But let's focus on making money first. Great. More trade fleets. Thank you. Um, Awa. Is Awa a castle? No, of course not. It's a large city. Oh god, this is cool. I haven't seen this building before. There's some really neat buildings in here. Ooh, great Abadi Madrasa. Public health bonus. Yes, please. I will do that. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, absolutely doing that. Alright, Al Khatif. I kind of want to see my money now. Um, yeah, Salala. Don't want to forget about you guys. I mean, I think he's doing fine here. Let's just try to get some more money uh, through trade fleets, and let's send out what we can. Of course, Sultan. See, like, Salal is doing a lot better now. I just need a token guy, so let's not even bother then. Um, Adath and one of those guys. As my Sultan wills. And no. send Mr. Macron out we there. Move at first light. Okay. Hmm. That worries me. Um, what is the Sultan's will? Maybe I should just go straight to Najran. The infidel's army will not survive. Let's do it. Besieging the Average Emperor. victory. Good enough for me. I'm gonna sack the settlement because I made that mistake last time. These people and bow to you now, mighty Sultan. Alright, we are in good shape. I keep on hoping that the Darius Thieves Guild, I love it, it's like free money. 400, thank you. I don't know what it does, but it's loud. It's very loud. Uh, let's just keep on merging these units. I didn't just, again, didn't trust my ability to um, to handle that siege properly. But Najran is now mine. And uh, body mastered. But that's great. Um, let's move you up here. Okay, so it looks like they had to go back up. Is there a reason why? As you will. My eyes are yours. Unseen. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Alright, looking good, everybody. I think I can say I control Yemen. Now we're moving to the Hejaz. We just have Mecca and Medina to go. Ooh, this is getting pretty good. Uh, let's see how we, we handle this. Okay, I can still build something. Um, but I always spend too much money. Before I remember. So let's... Um, let's end the turn. You have something for France? I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, I think Artabil is a good spot to be. Let's end the turn. I guess they're not sieging them, but I suppose if the Georgians attack the Mongols and the Mongols win, then Artabil will be destroyed. But apparently not this turn. Mongol reinforcements will certainly do the trick. I'm never going to adopt a 42-year-old. That's just a bad idea. Okay. Well, it looks like everything's going pretty well in Oman proper. Let's cut down here to Salala. Still doing well. As my Sultan wills. Of Looking course good, I'm buddy. Tomorrow's They're so close awaits. to expanding. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Let's get some farms going. Just turn whatever tiny farmland exists into something better. Okay, looks good. And uh, Betty 
Astrid, you know it. This is great. Um, yeah, more retraining, please. Just run. Another 8th infantry doesn't hurt. Okay, so... Even if they do not deserve it, I will offer the infidels a fair fight. Well, there we go. Uh, looks like there's a lot happening. So the Mongols now have a truce. Makuria has a truce. Seljuks and the Mongols have a truce. And the Rajputs decided to turn the Malachite of Sind into a puppet. Not a good sign. All right, while well, I still have all this money, let's go back to Nizwa and do that. I do hope there's another update for Broken Crescent uh, at some point because, I mean, number one, it's it's wonderful, um, but number two, you can tell that there's some things that just don't quite function as they're supposed to. Um, and that's definitely no fault of the mod makers. Well, I mean, it, it is, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, so Bulgaria still there. Um, I just mean it more in the sense that this is a very large undertaking for just a couple of people, and they did an amazing job. Um, but it would be really great to get to, you know, if this is 2.4.2, it'd be really great to get to, you know, 2.4.3 or 2.5. Um, you know, there's just a couple of the things, like with the whole Abadi Sunni combo there. Um, because to my knowledge, in Medieval 2, you're not able to uh, be able to transfer things over. So it's not like I can convert from a body to Sunni. Uh, so why should I be able to build those things? Um, that's just kind of what I'm thinking of. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. And someone died in Bahrain, but someone came of age in Alhilla. So this is interesting. It looks like... Yeah, it does look like that, huh? Let's send this guy. It, so it looks to me as if this rebelled. Yeah, it is. Um, is it worth going for it? I guess, what's the point? Yeah, let's better better wait. Mongols still aren't doing anything with Shiraz. And the Romans are Bulgarian. Yep, absolutely Bulgarian. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's focus back where where things really matter. My eyes are yours. I'm curious, is there... Okay, so there must have been an army here. Um, yeah, it looks like there was a series of battles here and that's why they got pulled away. Because really it looks to me like they just ceded way too much of their own territory. Um, and I'm kind of in, in shock that that actually happened. But I guess that it makes sense when you think about it in the sense that they're getting attacked on both sides and it's Medina and Mecca. And if we want to role play a little bit, that that actually matters uh, in this game, which hasn't been coded uh, for that to matter, then it makes it pretty cool. So someone died here. That's a bummer. Or maybe I let them go. Oh, time to build more things that make people happy. More Adath infantry. Adoth infantry. I don't know. Aiden's finally getting there. Mm, let's see. Oh, goodness. Public health bonus. Yep, it is time. Because take a look at that. That is a lot of squalor. And that's part of what's been hard to get ahead of. Alright. As my Sultan wills. No. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy now. Yeah, 
and I'm just trying to build things that will give me more money in the long term. I definitely have enough troops for, or enough money if I save up for it, uh, for another army, but I think right now I'm just going to try to consolidate Yemen and continue getting that army ready to go up in the Hejaz. Uh, but I do want to see what happens to Artabol because it looks like there's... Okay, so... That's pretty great. It looks like there's a pretty big defense happening there, and you just wonder, where's the rest of Georgia's troops? Are they, you know... I bring word from my people, my lord. Oh, jeez. Um, are they actually going to fight back, or is this kind of the last stand, I and they're going to get rolled? I must deny no farewell, no. Yeah, that's, you know, that's anyone's guess right now. It definitely seems like the Mongols have slowed down, but I don't know if they've slowed down to um, any great effect. You know, that's a full stack. Everybody's full. All right, Sana's rioting. Go figure. Or is that Sada? So they have two full stacks. So I'm going to have to deal with that. So let's just go straight down there. Well, I guess I should have expected that. Um, yeah, let's just build a couple more troops, because don't really have a choice. Shaz run. Hmm. Council chamber's not a bad idea. But what if we just keep on making people happy? I'm I'm more likely to support that, which is why I did that. Okay. Um, Medina is full. And actually, I just saw the other stack there. I mean, if I take Mecca... Let's do it. Alright, wound here. Rest in peace, buddy. Victory, my Sultan. Okay, Great Mufti is in enemy territory. Um, I can't really do much over here. I mean, I suppose I could, because there's enough troops where I could combine it. I'm just not... Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm not really the type of player to do that. Because I, I really do prefer some of these um, auto-resolves. But, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to send this guy down here and then kind of pick up pick up people as they go. So let's see, he could go for any dismounted noble answers. Yep. So let's move him there and then come back. Okay. Um, combine these guys. I don't know what the point of that was now that I think about it. Um, but I will send these guys up there too. Um, that looks pretty good. Is there anybody here? So I could get Ache Warriors, Arab Spearmen. Ache Warriors, Arab Spearmen. Great. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty good. That's about as good as I can hope for. Um, and then I'll decide if I want to um, disband these or what in, in the time going forward. Uh, everybody here looks happy. I'm just going to go ahead and disband that guy who's, you know, five, five dollars, but doesn't hurt. All right, looking good here. Muscat. Actually, let's see what's happening here in Suhar. Suhar is so close to growing, but it's not growing at all. So I have to build farms. All right, let's call that good. And back up to Artable. I guess I'll go here. So it does seem like the Seljuks of Rum and uh, Jerusalem are at war, based on the fact that they are 
not in control of pretty much any of these towns. So that explains why Jerusalem hasn't attacked me, I guess. Um, one, we have something for you. See, now I, I'm not interested in an alliance because I'm more interested in Yemen destroying those guys. You know, it just makes sense. And drink another big sip of tea. I'm telling you guys, that winter wake up tea, it's, there's nothing like it. Alright, Mongols, do your worst. I mean, I literally mean that. I want to see the Mongols just totally wipe out half the map. I want them to be a powerhouse. Because, hmm, 23, actively disloyal. Yeah, not gonna, you know, fool me once. Sada is still rioting. Come on, guys. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just destroying everything that you've known and loved for years. I guess I have to plop some more troops there, but it seems like no one's very happy right now. Well, they probably heard me pontificating about their uh, upcoming de defeat. Alright, so here's the thing. Thais should not be... So this is a fortress, right? Um, Sasada is a fortress, and Thais is a fortress. I really just need one fortress down there, and I think it makes more sense to keep Thais than it does to keep Sada. So, basically what I'm saying is I might convert to city. Um, but the Abari Madrasa isn't going to change that, so... Is it possible to send anybody here? Can I send you guys? Yeah, that, that'll do it. And then I can build you, retrain, nobody. Okay. Yeah, I'm torn about Thais. I really am. Um, I'll circle back to that one. However, let's figure out what's going on here. I mean, so far so good. Infidels to kill, Sultan. So she's There's the siege of Mecca. Siege okay. The walls, mighty Sultan. And then let's move up you. Okay. So basically, I have a turn. So I have to take Mecca next turn. And then we have to hold on to our butts. That's what that tells me. There's still a giant massing of troops up in Artable. Shiraz is still like the free city of Shiraz. Hmm. But you know what's tempting? Taking Shiraz, yeah. Very tempting. Um, but first, let's just... Things that make me money. That's that's what I want to do. Oh, uh, what's up, buddy? Okay, I don't have enough money now. Um, let's see. What else do I want to see? I guess let's wait for Konya to be destroyed. Um, let's end turn. Oh no, I forgot about that guy. That was a rookie mistake, just like usual. Lots of rookie mistakes, really. We have something full use. Alliance. I will ally with them, because they're at war with the Seljuks, and that's it. So let's do it. Merci. What about map information? You know, now that we're allies. I cannot quite. I don't get what the issue is. Why is that so hard? It's like a medieval to common thread. I guess total war in general. I mean, I get that it's not good, but I mean, you know where cities are, right? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe there's a whole bunch of people saying, you know, what? that road's not actually the way to the city. Very nice paved royal road. It's not the way to the big city. Not good enough. My eyes are yours. Okay. As you will. So Kay Kayseri is gonna go now. I don't even know if those guys are 
gonna be alive much longer. Oh, that was my alarm. Let's see. Karakatai and the Mongols are at war. Well, it only took them long enough. And it looks like Georgia successfully stared down the Mongols there. Well, good for you guys. Um, let's go this way. I cannot go there. No. -uh. The Turkish factioners up there. No. -uh. Huh. Um. Yeah, let's head that way and see what's what's going on. Um. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Looks like the the gang's all there. And so we know we can't get rid of anybody from this area um, because everybody is pretty close to revolt. So time to pop down a whole bunch of troops. Get in a ma'am because I need it. And let's see what else will make those people love me. More buildings. People love buildings. Especially a body madrasas. When they're not a body. Aiden, come on, man. Wayfarer's rest. Public order due to happiness. Great. Making these towns happy has been the great struggle of this game. I would not have thought that the hardest part of the conquest of Yemen... As my sultan wills. Well, the hardest part of the conquest of Yemen was my own stupidity. The second hardest part is keeping them happy after I get it. Alright, we lost ten men. Mecca, what to do, what to do. Seems pretty happy, let's just occupy him. I mean, don't really want to sack Mecca, right? That's just not really above board. I guess I can't afford to fix that. It's dumb. Um, let's see, what, what can I do though? I guess that's it. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. We've just taken Mecca, and Medina is under siege. Wow, that's really cool. So, Yemen's on their last legs. The question is, what are they going to do? They've got a stack here. Is he going to move this way? Or... Is he going to move the other? Either way, we're going to have a bunch of rebel troops to fight out and plenty more work ahead of us. So, once again, this is the Fuzz. Thanks so much for watching Broken Crescent as Oman. Next time, we'll see what's going on with Jerusalem, now our great ally, and see if the Mongols can be turned back because that's right, I've got something going around in my head and I think I've got an idea. All right, have a good one.